Hello everyone, it's Matt from the Armchair Armoury here and today we are going to have a whole product creation video. I'm going to take you through the making of a whole piece so you can see all that I am doing. Today I'm making an Aventail. This is a custom piece for a client with an existing helmet and I'm making it to fit that. So I have drafted my pattern to their specifications, their length and their width and, and a nice little downwardy bit for their face so that they've not got a mouthful of rings. They've asked for it to be made in our square 8mm brass rings. This particular Aventail is for LARP, not reenactment, so it is all for show rather than real live heavy hitting combat. I'm going to start by opening and closing a bunch of my rings and then we will start knitting. With all the chain that we make, I like to draft a pattern first so that I can see the size I'm making to. I can see the progress I've got. If I've made a section that size, I can see how much left I've got to do rather than just sort of making a patch to a rough size and then kind of going from there. I find it keeps you motivated, which is of course one of the big things in chainmail making. Doing the same process again and again and again for hours means you've got to keep your spirits up. To start the project off swiftly I like to close and open about 200 rings, 100 open, 100 closed and that gives me enough to make some headway and start off swiftly and then we kind of take things a bit slower often only putting one row in at a time sometimes two if I'm able to keep closing my rings um, but once I have done all of these I will go through with you in more detail as to what we are doing. So as you can see I have opened and closed a bunch of my rings and I'm going to start with our usual three row chain. So I'm going to take one open ring, four closed rings, Close them up and then going to start weaving one ring through two and adding two more. As you can see there's actually quite a lot going on in that one ring. It's quite hard to get enough of a grip on it to close it but with time and the correct pliers you will work it out. Currently I'm using two pairs of combination pliers, though I'm sure in a moment I will tag out to one pair of needle or long nose pliers just to get slightly more of a grip, but these are doing for now. And what I'm doing is I'm building up a chain that will be, when laid out, the whole length of, in effect, that first rectangle. That's what I'm aiming for. And then I will make two more rectangles that go on the side and I will join them with a curve. And then it will get looped around and it will become um, a cylinder, I suppose. So I'm going to carry on doing this until we get to the correct length. Then I will start working downwards. As you can see I've made the chain a little bit long but that's when it's out to its limit. What we're going to do is bring it back a little bit because you want the chain to be relaxed and not stretched as far as it will go. 
This means that it will be able to wrap around nicely, and it also means there'll be some flex outwards as well. So I'm going to count these rings, and then if they are a number I am happy with, then we'll continue. Is it you just want it to be a round number? Yeah. How many do you want? 55. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with 55. Awesome. So, so this chain is currently sitting at 55 rings long, which I'm happy with. I'm just going to add one ring to the end of this middle row, so that these outlying rings are attached to two. And then I'm going to continue and fill in this entire rectangle. So with the main body of the Aventail completed, I've added in strips to the length that we are going to need the final piece to be done at. However, I'm not going to continue these sections just yet, because what I need to do is take the two tops and I need to attach them together so that we make this into a cylinder, then I am going to fill the two sections in afterwards. If I was to do that first, yes I could have the pan piece laying flat, however I then have to loop in all the way down, and that would mean having to get five rings attaching together, which is going to be a bit of a pain. So rather than that, I can attach these together and then do one strip all the way down, and it will be a lot easier. So that is what I'm going to do next. And here we have it. It's a little bit of an abrupt end, but where you last saw me, I'd knitted about that much, and basically I just did the rest off camera because it was a lot quicker. So we've ended up with a cylinder, I suppose, um, of our brass 8 mil rings that make up the Aventail. This top end will be attached to the helmet. I think my client is going to make a leather strap with some holes in so that can get mounted on and then that leather strap will go onto the helmet. We've got our face cut out so they don't get a mouthful of rings like I said before. 
Let me show you it from the front. It looks like that. It will hang a little bit down. Um, however, I believe the face plate covers the majority of this because this only hangs down to the fella's shoulders because it's quite short. So I believe that's everything. I'll do a little close-up of the rings so you can see. But that is the entire brass aventail finished. It only took me three bags of rings in the end, so it wasn't too much. It was quite a nice little project to do. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again in another video. Bye!